OMG guys, wow, 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 wow. You guys won't believe what just came through the door. Mmm, it looks awesome. <gasps> and how interesting of a concept. Mabuhai squad, check it out. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. OMG guys, healthy prepared meals. Guys, these delicious looking healthy meals come from Vega Paleto. It's a company here in Manila and they prepare meals if you want to go keto, paleo, vegan, or whole 30. What is whole 30? I don't know, but mm, this looks so good and it smells so good. <gasps> oh, so healthy. I'm like mouth watering right now. Let's taste this. OMG, this looks delicious. Mabu High Squad, RJ's just gonna let us know what each dish is and I'm gonna eat it. Okay, what is this? That's bacon with egg, lettuce, tomato, and collie buns. Bacon with egg, lettuce, tomato, and collie buns? Wow. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. That pork is so good. Mmm. Now guys, are any of you on a special diet? Keto, intermittent fasting, paleo? Let us know. How's it working for you? Mmm. So good. Oh, this is so healthy. Even Ligaya can have this. Wow, next. Cauliflower rice, yeah, with garlic butter chicken. Cauliflower rice with garlic butter chicken. Oh my. Mmm. Oh wow. Mmm. So buttery. Mmm. So good. Mmm. Cauliflower rice. Mmm. Mildly sweet. Cauliflower. Mmm. By the way, guys, in case you don't know, I follow mostly keto. Back when I first started, it was called low sugar, high fat diet. Um, I started maybe four or five years ago. Never looked back since, although I do cheat regularly. But mostly, I stick to high fat and low carb. And then I just cheat a little bit every day. Mm. And I also eat one big meal every day with like snacks, like yogurt and stuff. Mm. So good. Next, cheesy beef broccoli. OMG. Oh, smells so good. Let's try this. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. So flavorful. How is this healthy? Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's all so yummy. Wow. If you're busy, like these set meals is like all you need. Amazing. Mm. Guys, they have different smoothies too. This one's like mango, this one's strawberry, and this is like blueberry. Let's try the strawberry. And guys, there's also Greek yogurt in it. OMG. Let's try it. Mmm, mmm. There are chunks in there. Wow. Strawberry explosion in my mouth. Mmm. Wow, thank you, Lord. OMG. I'm so sorry, guys. I ate with my hat on. Sorry, sorry. That's bad manners. RJ does it all the time, but he doesn't know in North America that's rude. My bad. Sorry. Oh, but that food was so delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you so much, Vega Palito. Guys, be sure to follow them on Instagram. Yes. Guys, I'm so excited. You know what this is? This here also came in the mail and waiting forever for it. It's a sprouter. Yay, so it's got two layers. It's got a bottom bin. You just fill that with water. Then it has this layer where you put the seeds. And today I'm going to sprout wheatgrass. Yes. Can you guess who this wheatgrass is for? Duh, Ligaya. You just kind of spread it around, you know? kind of thing. Oh, is it falling through? Oh no! How will this work? Uh, oh no! Am I supposed to put it on like a cloth? <gasps> Am I doing this right? Okay, whatever. Anyways, I mean even if it does sprout, it'll eventually sprout through the mesh and like the roots, I saw in the picture, the roots come up to the bottom and it just kind of stays and then I could just keep clipping it and actually RG and I can use this for ourselves. All right, so I got my wheat grass nice and spread and then now I just add water. Mind you, I don't know if I'm doing it right, but I believe this is how it works. Oh, like, did that even go through? Okay, I guess just like that. Hmm. Is that right, guys? Am I doing this right? It didn't come with instructions. I'm guessing this is how you do it. There, like so. And then, on goes the cover. And we're set, guys. Can't wait for this to grow. Good morning, Mabuhai squad. Sorry. 
had to wear my hat because my crazy bed head. Let's check the mouse traps. Okay, both mouse traps empty. Even this one empty. Something tells me no mice, my boy high squad, which is a good sign. Good morning. Morning. Did you sleep well? She's hungry. You're hungry, I know, right? I'll make you breakfast. The wheat grass is nice and moist, but you know what? I think I'm gonna put a wet paper towel over it just to help it germinate. There we go, like so. All right, and then spray it down. Yes. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never sprouted it like this before without soil, but let's hope this works. You know what I'm saying? Another thing I've been doing, guys, is I've been, instead of cooking my legumes and grains and stuff, um, with the exception of brown rice, I now soak it and I let it sprout. Like, see, if you look carefully, see the, um, Lentils see how they have little tails also the quinoa has little tails as well And the millet is will also eventually develop little tails and what that does is it sprouts the seeds and the legumes and the nuts as well Which makes the food item so much more nutritious a lot of the nutrients suddenly become more bioavailable uh, to the bird because the thing is certain foods could be nutritious but not all of the nutrients can be bioavailable to the birds so sprouting seeds nuts legumes makes them super duper nutritious um, and healthy for the bird so instead of cooking these nuts and legumes and um, quinoa the millet I'm gonna sprout them from now on so this has been sitting here now for a day I'm gonna drain this and then I'll put it in the fridge and let it further sprout for a day or so and then put it in her mash in her chop yes the guy's easy you got it all over your face <laughs> so messy mmm nutritious food miss Ligaya summers you are so dirty mm-hmm <laughs> Summers, good morning. Good morning. So, guys, I play the vlogs because the guy clearly loves it. See, she sits and she watches, and she's so responsive. Like, she starts to vocalize, she even plays more. Um, I did some reading, and apparently, a super quiet and boring house is also not the best for a bird because they could get bored. Like, literally, these birds are from the wild, they live in massive flocks and they're gregarious, they're always having fun, partying, and having a noisy and energetic time. So it's also not very natural that they're in like a super quiet environment. I've decided now I'm just gonna play the vlogs. And look, Ligaya, she loves watching them. We used to put on the vlogs when we would leave the house. So I'm sure she just loves the familiar sound effects, the familiar background music, our voices, her own voice. <laughs> See, she's like, whoa, whoa, she loves the vlogs. Okay guys, positive affirmation for Saturday, June the 20th. I bring a ray of sunshine wherever I go. I am a joy and a delight to be with. Yes, love that. There you go guys, hope you guys enjoy today's positive affirmation. Speaking of which, Ligaya Summers, you are a joy to be with. Mm-hmm, and you bring a ray of sunshine. <laughs> Yay guys! Guess what? Some new things just came in the mail. Um, some organic spelt. Okay, this looked a lot bigger in the picture, but spelt can finally add it to her chop. And it says you can cook it, but I think I'm going to sprout this. Um, for those of you that don't know spelt, don't worry, you're not alone. I had no idea what spelt was, but I read it as part of the summer seasonal diet and it listed spelt. So like I have never seen spelt. It's not available at my grocery near me. So I had to order it online and it's apparently related to wheat okay I mean it does look like wheat it's very little I'm just gonna soak it and sprout it along with everything else and guys look at what else came aloe vera gel yes organic pure undiluted pure aloe vera gel oh this is awesome I'm using this basically to dilute in water and then I'll add it to like Ligaya spray um it's supposed to be good for her feathers and her skin um in case she's itchy like during a molt which is now so yeah i'm excited and humans can use this too this is actually for people oh my mm, see that gel wow awesome
Okay guys, so RJ and I are gonna keep busy. We are busy all day making special preparations. Mm -hmm. And these preparations happen to be for the one and only Miss Ligaya Summers. You know why? Because tomorrow actually happens to be Ligaya's second birthday. She's gonna be two years old. They call it hatch day because like, what's a birthday of a bird? When the egg is laid or when the egg hatches? Yeah, so tomorrow, Sunday, June the 21st, which also happens to be Father's Day. So it's a big day for the whole world. <laughs> and also happens to be summer solstice, um, the longest day in the year. It's Ligaya's special day. So RJ and I have been thinking, okay, how can we make Ligaya's second birthday extra special? Last year, if you saw the vlog of her first birthday, RJ cooked this massive, massive like feast for Ligaya, carrot safe food items, cakes, all of this really cool stuff. And Arj is gonna be making her a cake this year as well. And we're decorating our first floor for the grand occasion. But to make it extra special this time, we wanted all of you Mabu High Squad to join us. So RJ and I have decided to do a live stream of the Gaia's birthday party. Yes, her second birthday party. Now, we were discussing, okay, so when is the best time to do a live stream so that everybody or as many people as possible could attend? And then we figured, okay, well, our options are either morning or night because that's when it's convenient for, I believe, like most of our viewers. I mean, both here in Southeast Asia and over there in North America. Although I acknowledge that we have viewers from all over the world. We were thinking possibly to do it on our morning, which is 8 a.m. Manila time, which happens to be 8 p.m. the day before for you in North America at Eastern Standard Time. Does that make sense? So for us, it will be Sunday morning. And for you guys over there in North America who will be tuning in at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that will be your evening. We figured that way at least, you know, people from both West Coast and East Coast in North America can tune in to uh, watch the Gaia celebrate her birthday. And those of us here in Southeast Asia can also tune in and it's the morning. And the best part is the Gaia will be hungry because it'll be our morning. She'll be expecting breakfast. So this time she'll actually eat her cake. <laughs> Last year she ate a bit, but um, I think it might be extra special for her to enjoy the treats that RJ prepares for her second birthday if it's on an empty stomach. What do you guys think? Cool? So, mark your calendars, set your alarms, because tomorrow is the birthday party of our daughter slash dragon slash Miss Ligaya Summers. Tune into the live!